Hey guys, this is Evan Dukas in the garden with a quick tip and gardening hack as it <clears throat> pertains to weeding. Especially if you have an area of your garden that's been overgrown with weeds, you know that it would take you hours of, of weeding to just get a hold of it and probably much follow up, many, many hours to just, you know, to keep it clear. Gone are the, da are the days of slaving away. This is not how we're going to do it. We're actually going to not pull a single weed, guys. This is what permaculture is all about. See, we want to, to use the energy and nutrients that these weeds have been accumulating and pulling up and sequestering for all these years of neglect. See this bed right here, uh, I've neglected it and uh, just haven't done anything with it. And so these weeds took their place. Uh, and it is quite a mess. But again, I'm not going to pull anything. I'm not going to slave away. Uh, instead, we're going to use all these nutrients to feed the next generation of plants that we actually want to grow in our garden. This is simple. Uh, it's effective. It's organic, natural, and regenerative. And this is how we do it. Okay, so all we are going to do is simply uh, take a barrier. In this case, we're going to use cardboard just like this, old boxes. You can use newspapers, uh, anything else along these lines. And we're gonna take it and we're gonna go ahead and cover our weeds um, because what this is gonna do is smother the weeds um, of light and oxygen. And since I'm working with a raised bed, I'm going to pull these in a little bit so that you know the main portion of the weed is, is on the inside of the cardboard and not sticking out the sides. So I'm going to kind of pull it in like that, and then I'm going to take the cardboard. Um, in this case, I kind of cut it more or less to size without going too crazy, so that it would kind of work around this lip here. See that? And I'm going to go ahead and do the same thing in the whole bed. And once I have a good coverage, here's some recommendations. You know, you can put some garden soil on top, some mulch on top, um, but you know, my recommendation is some kind of compost because that's going to really get to work on, on breaking down your soil. Uh, so I'll just kind of dump some on, spread it out. This is all also inoculate uh, the stuff that you're working with, with all that, you know, good beneficial microbial action. And, you know, you could do more or less. I, I very often put a little more than that, but that'll work. And then I'm going to top it with a layer of mulch. Just like this. This is kind of a forest mulch of ground trees from the, from the tree service company. I might go a little bit thicker than this, but you get the idea. And that is it. As you can see, I've got no more weeds over here. Uh, the weeds are going to break down, feed the soil. This is going to feed the soil. This really does work best in an application where, you know, you're at the end of your growing season and you have the fall or winter, early spring to really start letting that cardboard break down because by the time you're ready to plant again, the cardboard's gone, guys. Like it, uh, it actually just disintegrates, decays quickly, and also feeds the soil uh, with that carbon. Uh, if you do want to plant in this right away, uh, you can. Um, it's a little bit more tricky because, you know, because you'll have to make a hole in the cardboard. But again, I, I find this much better than landscape fabric or plastic. I know a lot of people do that, but it's not natural. The soil does not breathe. Uh, so this is much better, uh, in my opinion, and it's free. You know, if you do want to plant right away, you can kind of spread it and uh, make a hole, something like this, you know, or, or a row, uh, and you can kind of cut a hole uh, as tight as you can to keep those weeds out uh, in the meantime. So here we have our layer of cardboard down, and then we have our compost on top of that, a small layer of that, and this is going to be our last layer of mulch to cover it all up with. Over here in my food forest, I've used a very similar application. You can see the mulch down here. It all started with the same thing I just showed you. And here are a whole, whole variety and diversity of plants that are growing wonderfully with no weeds. Okay, so here it is, guys, our finished bed. No more weeds. Uh, just a few plants that I wanted to leave in here, like this sorrel, uh, to go ahead and reseed. And the beautiful thing is this has saved me several hours and at the same time, I'm building soil. I hope this helped you. This helps me all the time. It's much less work, it's effective. So if you have any uh, opinions or comments, questions, feel free to leave one um, and subscribe if you wanna see more videos like this in the future.
Until next time.